Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I am Dr. Ganguly, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to respond to a viewer's question and this is what is the difference between the resume and the CV. Now as most of you may know, these are both documents used to get jobs and essentially the resume is widely used to get jobs in the corporate system and the CV is used to get jobs in the university system. Sometimes the CV is also used for jobs in national lab and research institutes. So let's look at some of the key differences between these documents. So number one is the length. So essentially the resume should be one to three pages in length and if you are somebody with a bachelor's degree fresh graduate you should have a one page resume if you are somebody with a master student i would also suggest you have a one page resume and if you have done a phd maybe you can go up to two page now if you are a person with many years of experience i would still suggest that keep your resume to within two pages if you need to give some publications, you just give a sample here, maybe maximum of two to five journal publications and you can then give a link to Google Scholar. Now CV is essentially unlimited or unrestricted in length. So this means that the CV could be two pages, 10 pages, and I have seen CVs of 50 to 70 pages also. So essentially, the CV becomes very long because people give a list of all their journal papers, all their conference papers, all the grants they have obtained, all the prizes they have got, all the talks they have delivered, and all the students they have graduated. So sometimes for a very senior professors, there could be a huge amount of documentation involved here. So the actual material in the CV may be only a few pages, but then there is this whole list of publications which takes up most of the document. So the next question is where are these documents used? So like I mentioned before the CV is typically used in universities, research lab and government and the resume is used in the corporate sector. Now why would these documents be used and they be different? So I would say that in the CV you are trying to show your entire life story. So this is like a path of your life. And so essentially, as far as academia is concerned, your life begins with your bachelor's, master's and PhD degrees. And then you have all your work experiences. What is the product of this life? It's the journal papers, the conference papers, the grants you have written to do research, the prizes you have obtained from all these research, the students you have graduated and the talks you have delivered. So this whole set of information is what constitutes the CV. Now why academics like to see the CV is that in one document they are able to capture exactly what you have done. So the way university people look at a CV is that they try to see what are the titles of your papers. From that they will figure out what exactly are the problems you have tackled They'll also try to look at all the journals where you have published and the name of the journals will tell them a lot about your level in terms of research. Finally, they will look at your prizes and the different fellowships you have obtained through all this research. So that is a kind of feature extraction which tells them, hey, this guy has made a lot of contribution and his peers have recognized him. So essentially the CV showcases the person showcases the expertise of the person in the given field and that's its primary aim. So if you are applying for a job as a faculty or as a professor then you need to write this CV very well. Now one thing I would caution you is that if you are a PhD student or a postdoc don't try to extend your CV by padding it up that is don't put material in it such as you have gone to different conferences, you have written various technical reports, or you have supervised some UG students or graded some classes and so on. Because that doesn't come across very well. If you are a PhD student or postdoc, it's okay to have a CV which is three to four pages long. And the legitimate way of increasing your CV length is actually to add to the publication list. Because what happens is when you publish a conference paper, 
very frequently people put it in journal also after some time and maybe some students will be working on that paper so all this information including any grants which have led to this research will go into the cv so cv then grows later in life um, that's not something you should feel bad about at this stage of your career so what about the resume see what happens the industry people don't have much time and essentially they want to quickly figure out if they want to hire a person or not so as far as the industry is concerned time is money so essentially most resumes are actually machine scanned nowadays so make sure you give a list of your skills on top so these may be skills such as modeling and simulation machine learning digital twin data science python pandas tensorflow c++ or whatever other skills you have now the remaining format is very similar you can get a lot of information about resumes but the key difference is that for every experience or every job which you have done you can think about it in terms of projects and list two to five bullet points for each project so as far as the resume is concerned it is meant to showcase you to this person who is trying to give you a job or trying to look for a candidate so what happens with the resume is that if it is scanned by the machine the machine finds a lot of useful keywords it will then forward it to a human resource manager and this person is going to go through it in more detail you will have a call from this person they will ask you about your background about some of the interest in the job about what is your salary expectations and then if they feel you are satisfying them they are going to get one more call for you with the recruiting manager so the resume is simply a way to get yourself into the door as far as the interview process is concerned now the cv also does a similar job but actually in the case of cv the university people take a lot of time to go through it very thoroughly their mindset is very different they are looking for specialized expertise here and they are looking at what exactly they want now many of the time university people do not actually know what they want so if you send them a cv they may actually like it because the job descriptions in universities are very broad so if they are looking for a person in say the solid mechanics area or mechanics and materials the vast number of people may actually satisfy the criteria so they are going to dig deeper and see exactly what the papers are on so sometimes they may not even plan to recruit a person and maybe they find somebody working on nano composite polymers and then they end up recruiting this person so that's something which can happen now finally i would say that the document you use here will of course totally depend on the system you are targeting if you are targeting the university go for the cv if you are targeting a company go for the resume now i would actually say that resume is a more difficult document to craft because that one page or two page document may actually land you a very high paying job and so spend a lot of time thinking about how to craft your resume try to think about all the things you have done in your phd in your masters any project work you have done any internship you have done and see how can see how you can get bullet points from these which will effectively make the case as to why they should recruit you so if you are thinking from the resume perspective anything you do in your life should be leading to some skills and these skills should be quantifiable in terms of keywords which should be there in your resume so any time you are working on something to do with let's say molecular dynamic simulation or data science or machine learning these keywords will make their way into your resume but in the university it's all about papers because as far as the academics are concerned they are going to look at the titles of your papers they are going to look at the journal where you are published in the impact factor of the journal the brand name of the journal they are going to look at the number of people you are published in whether the work is done by you and your supervisor by you alone or by 10 people and all these extraneous considerations will be there university is looking for a person who can actually work on their own so that's a big thing in the university however a company is actually looking 
for skills they always have various people working on the project and you are not going to be the only one working on the project and they know that if you have a set of skills a large number of skills it is more easy for you to work on a variety of projects as time goes by so that was my take on resume versus cv i hope you benefited from this video stay tuned to my channel and i will see you sometime soon see you then